All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke, and I did, in fact, raise up the team just a smidge. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at. Uh, sorry, didn't raise up the entire team. I only introduced the new member, Crash, the impish Mainetric. If you guys remember, we caught Mainetric as an Electric back in Olivine City. Uh, I've never really used an Electric on the team, so I have no idea how to go about it. All I know is I gave her the muscle band for physical attacks. Uh, her physical attacks include Thunder Fang and Bite. Uh, she has static ability, which means upon contact, there's a chance she can induce paralysis. And she also has Roar and Spark. So what I'm going with here, here is what I'm going with. We can Roar, Bite something until it gets paralysis and Roar it back out for something else. Rinse and repeat. She's pretty decent. She's pretty decent. She shouldn't just go out against a grass type, that's all. Long she, I'm sorry, a ground type. As long as she don't go out against a ground type, we'll be okay. Okay. So uh, let's see if we can sneak back. Actually, we don't need to sneak back. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. We got the lovely Scavenger on the team. Scavenger, I need you to fly us back to Vermilion City, please. We're going to handle a little bit of business over in Ver Ver Vermilion. Did I say Viridian? I meant Vermilion. You guys know, you guys know I'll get those two. I, I know exactly which one I mean. I just say the wrong one every single time. 50% chance gets it wrong every time. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to test out our Poke Gear now that we have updated it. Our Poke Gear should be able to wake up all sleeping Pokemon, whether they're sleeping in the party or they're sleeping out in the field like this. This is Route 11, but in the event that we go to catch this, this Snorlax or whatever it really is, um, it's not our encounter. It's a, it's counted as an event because it's it's something that's gonna happen. Okay, so let's see. We need to tune our radio to the polka flute. It's a nice song. It's a nice song. All right. So who on our team? Who on our team is up for up for catching stuff? I can't send smells. Smells is a killer. Smells is a killer. We're gonna put Scav up front. I forgot Scav is the perfect one for catching. All right. So let's see. Scav, I hope, you, I hope you're ready for today. Pause. That's a bird. That's a bird. That's either... Okay, you ready for this? You ready for this? It's either Deli Bird, Dodrio, or it's one of the legendary birds. Oh, it's not, it's not Legendary Bird. Oh, it's Heracross? It's Heracross. Why did I think it was a bird? It sounded like a bird to me. All right, Heracross is bug and fighting. We might lose Scav. Here's a here's a faint attack. Okay, cool. Here's a Super Fang. I forgot what faint does. I know we had that on the team at one point. Come on, Scav. Come on, Scav. Take down. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! All right, damn. All right, Scav, we need to catch this hair cross. It's actually very high level. We're gonna go Ultra Ball here. Come on. Mm. Mm. Damn, he's gonna do that? He's gonna kill Scavenger. Faint attack, okay. Uh, I think we need to heal. Above and beyond, we need to heal. I just hope Takedown doesn't kill it. I hope it doesn't use Takedown to kill himself. That would be upsetting. Come on, Scav. Close combat. All right, so we can't attack it again unless we're going to use Super Fang. Close combat lowers the user's defense, and we lost Scavenger because of a close combat. That's not even my fault. That's not even my fault, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Crash? Are you up for it, Crash? You know, I think we gotta let this one go. I think we just gotta let this one go. There's nothing we can do about this. I mean, Sandstorm is risking it. Sandstorm is risking it. If we do Sandstorm, we only have one turn to try and catch it. All right, Pride. All right, Pride, here we go. Close combat. Yo, if we lose Pride too, I'm gonna be highly displeased. Come on, there we go. Defense is down. 
All right. Come on. All right, weather damage isn't going to kill it. Good. Uh, Yo, the Ultra Ball didn't even make it one shake last time. That's crazy. Let's see. Let's try it again. Damn it. We just got to kill it, to be honest. Come on, Pride. Hold it. Hold it, Pride. Oh, my God. But the math. The math checked out, though. Okay, we're just going to... We're just gonna, we're gonna let this one go. We're gonna, it's okay. It's okay. A Heracross cannot replace the two Pokemon we just lost. It's okay. We can let this one go. We can let it go. All right. We got to head back to the... We got to head back. You guys ready for me to introduce more members? Did we just... We didn't lose... Okay, we didn't lose Crash because Crash just got here. I'll be highly displeased. Okay. We're going to have to introduce new members. Uh, give me a second. You guys know. You guys know how it goes. All right. Give me a second. All right. So we've once again made some team changes. Let's go ahead and take a look at the entire team. More or less, everyone has changed. Everyone's level is up to 55 right now. Everybody's level is up to 55. I'm not liking... I'm not liking the past two episodes, how they've gone. So I decided to make everybody stronger. Parry the Empoleon. Same moveset. Dawn the Hariyama. Same moveset. Smells the Skunk Tank. Same moveset. Crash the main Nectric. He had the, op I'm sorry, she had the opportunity to learn Charge. I don't like Charge as much as I like Roar with our plan. Uh, so... Same moveset. Chompella, the Frost Lass. I evolved. I evolved. Excuse me. I evolved our Frost. La I'm sorry. Our oh. I evolved our Snorunt into a Frost Lass by giving it a Dawn Stone. The naive Frost Lass. Its moveset: um, Icy Wind, Headbutt, Ice Fang, and Crunch. Ladies and gentlemen, it only took us getting to the post game. But we finally have Headbutt on the team. The ability is Snow Cloak. It raises evasion in a hailstorm. So, uh, there's that. And I also brought Queen back. Mostly because Queen knows fly. But also, that moveset. All dragon moves. Dragon Breath, Dragon Pulse, and Dragon Dance. This is going to be a good show, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So we have somebody on the team that can fly, so we don't have to travel between any of the seas that we've already been to here in Kanto. We can fly using Queen. Uh, we can fly. Wow, Lavender Lavender Town is a very small city. It is completely encapsulated by the uh, the Pokeball symbol saying that we can fly there. We're gonna fly to Cerulean. We're gonna go to Cerulean. Yeah, let's go to Cerulean City. Do I want to go to Cerulean? No, I don't want to go to Cerulean City. Not just yet. I don't think I want to go just yet. Let's fly. Let's fly to like six or seven tiles to our left. <laughs> Where I wanted to go. The whole point of interacting with that sleeping Pokemon, Pokemon wasn't just so that we can catch a Pokemon. It was also so that we can head towards... One of the earlier cities that we're supposed to visit first, if we were starting in Kanto. Uh, we can, oh, actually, we can have an encounter here. You know, if I lose another Pokemon, I'm not going to go back and fill the team back up. I'm just going to let it, I'm just going to let, I'm going to have open space on the team for a hot second. Mime Jr. Mime Jr. is pretty dope. He's pretty, she's pretty dope, rather. All right, Perry, you can hold your own against a Mime Jr., correct? Because, because what we've seen in the past past few minutes, it's not too good. And then the thing escapes. And then she escapes. Meditate. Come on. Alright, let's try it again. Let's give it another run. I'm not, we can't attack this thing. Realistically, we cannot attack Mom Jr. Two... Three. All right, we got her. It took it took two tries, but we got Mime Junior. All right, let's go ahead and read her, read her Pokedex entry. Mime Junior is the Mime Pokemon. 
In an attempt to confuse its enemy, it mimics the enemy's movements. Then it wastes no time in making itself scarce. All right. So then that would mean that this thing's name, Mime Jr.'s nickname, is Scarce. None other than Scarce, ladies and gentlemen. We have a baby on the team. How long until, you know, you got you guys know. You guys have been paying attention. All right. So we can go in this tunnel here, which will lead us back. Uh, back along the path. This is Diglett's cave. Let's talk to this man. A bunch of Diglett popped out of the ground. That was surprising. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? In Diglett's cave, that was surprising to you? All right. So here's our catch for Diglett's cave, our encounter for Diglett's cave. It's a trap inch. We already have a trap inch. We actually evolved it. Oh, no, wait. No, we don't. I'm going to catch this one. Dupes Claws is completely optional throughout the entire playthrough. Just because it's in effect doesn't mean you have to use it. So if you want to catch something again, you can. Not this one, though. All right. Now, if we fail to catch this, it's also Dupes Claws. Even though I'm, I'm choosing to not follow it here. If we fail to catch it, that's not our encounter here. Even though we should only run into Trap Pinch here in Diglett's Cave. There's only one Pokemon that we should run into uh, when it's randomized. Unless it's randomized to be completely random every single time. Regardless, we got Trap Pinch. That's our route. I'm sorry, that's our Diglett's Cave encounter. We don't get the Pokedex entry because we've already, we've already seen it. Uh, uh, how about... How about See, I have a naming pattern when it comes to the Trapinch family line. I always give them a five-letter name. I always give them a five-letter name, and I try to make it a cool name. This is Laser. Laser the Trapinch. We're getting a second chance. A second chance, y'all. All right. Because we already got an encounter, what I'm going to do now is use Super Repels just so I can run through here. Because, honestly, I hate I hate Diglett's Cave with a passion. There's a bridge in Diglett's Cave? Wow. They really did make this place really different. Okay. I don't ever remember that being there. But uh, I guess I guess in the future, it gives me a reason to come back and see what's inside Diglett's Cave. What's this up here? Oh, it's a Pokeball. It's an item. It's a Razor Fang. Razor Fang is pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right. Uh, we need to head south of here. Can we head south or can we just go this way? Ooh, leave me alone. I want to reach you. All right. We got to cut to get out of here, don't we? Which means I'm gonna have to now teach somebody cut, and that's gonna that's gonna make me upset. That's gonna make me upset. It's a pink Capricorn. Who's in this house? I don't remember who was in this house. This man. Oh my good nuggets! You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm going crazy with joy. Since you look as bright as a nugget, let me give you a little present. He gave us a nugget. It's a thing that we can sell. It's weird that this is the first nugget that we've gotten in the entire game. It's a thing we can sell for, I think, $5,000. That's a nugget. I can't get you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. I think he said the exact same thing uh, in Fire Red. Not entirely sure. I think we skipped over that completely. Repel, we're off. Good. Good. So you are chill. Professor Oak is waiting for you in this lab in Pallet Town. Also, I have received this from him. He wants you to have this. Sacred Ash. Is that what he normally gives? Yes, it is, I guess. Sacred Ash is an amazing item that can revive all fainted Pokemon. To the north is Pewter City. To the south is Viridian City. I know, I know. I sound like a sign. They hired some signs. Please tell me I... Oh, great. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to teach somebody cut. Somebody's going to have to learn cut on the spot. <sighs> Another Silk Scarf. Yet another silk scarf. Okay, who's going to learn cut? Which one of you clowns is unfortunately going to learn cut today? I know I should just go back and get someone else. I'm not doing I'm not. Listen, I've, I've, I've had to go through so much in the past episode, past two episodes. Everybody can learn cut except for Chompella. How about we give it to Crash? Crash has roar. Crash has roar, and that's honestly, it's not a good strategy. It's not a really good strategy. So we're going to give it a roar. And Crash can use Cut. All right, Crash, we need your help here. If you would be so kind as to cut down this tree in our way. 
Also, we get another opportunity for an encounter right here. So let's see what's in the grass. Nope, not going to stop me. Fine. We'll come back for Route 2's encounter. We are now in Viridian City. Viridian City's got a dope song. I mean, it's very simple. It's very simple, but it's got a dope song. We're going to heal up here. And then we're actually going to head down to uh, uh, Pallet Town. When we get to Pallet Town, that's where we're going to... Do we, we accomplish anything? We, we've done a little bit of road traveling. We've changed our team up. I'd say we. I'd say we accomplished. We've accomplished things. How about that? I can. I can say we accomplished stuff. Feels like. Feels like we've accomplished stuff. At least once we get to Oaks. Oaks Laboratory. All right. Let's head back south. Oh, I forgot. Back when we were in Goldenrod City and we got the the bike from that one man. Uh, he told us we we should stop by Cerulean City and talk to the, the bike shop owner there. We, we, we probably should do that. That's on our long list of things to do. To the south is Pallet Town. That's where Professor Oak, a well-respected Pokemon researcher, lives. All right. And, oh, Route 1. You guys want a Route 1 encounter? Let's get us a Route 1 encounter. I'm going to regret, regret that, ain't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose everything, aren't I? Let's see. It's a Bidoof. We already have a Bidoof. I don't remember him standing up like that. His his animation that was pretty cool looking. We're not gonna get a Bidoof. I'm invoking the dupes claws here. What else have you? What else have you on? I mean, it's gonna be crappy because it's Route Two. In a cricket tot. I think we have everything on Route Two already. All right, so we're not going to use our Route 2 encounter just yet. We're not going to use it just... Actually, we lost Bidoof, didn't we? Yeah, we lost Toof. We lost Toof the Bidoof. I remember the Bidoof, but, but, but Bibberel. There was a Bibberel. All right, so eventually we will go catch catch us a, a Bidoof again. How about that? Let's stop in. Let's stop in at all these houses. We'll stop in at the wonderful Professor Oak Glass. Let's go. Excuse me. Let's go here. How about we go to this house first? Hi. My kid brother is the gym leader of Viridian City. Oh, yeah? But he goes out of town so often it causes problems for the trainers. All right, cool. I'm going upstairs. What you got upstairs? Y'all got a Nintendo Wii, too? It's a Wii. Wii is huge in Kanto, too. Y'all got a Nintendo Wii in Kanto. Ain't that something? It's the best. It's the best system ever. <laughs> uh, let's go into this house. Hi. Red's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no news is good news, but I do worry about him. All right, cool. We'll go downstairs. Bye. Oh, he's got a Nintendo Wii as well. All right, we'll be out. I ain't gonna mess with this stuff. You know, this house is pretty. It's pretty nice. This is a nice looking house. I want my house to look like this. I mean, I want to have more rooms, but I want my house to look like that. All right. If that woman done, get out my way. Let's stop in at the wonderful Professor Oak's office or his lab. Ah, chill. It's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Per oh, I don't have to say that part. Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep it up, chill. So how's your Pokedex coming along? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't ask me about my Pokedex. It's rude. Chill, thanks for your work on the Pokedex. The professor's research is coming along well. The professor's Pokemon Talk radio show is aired here in Njoto as well. Professor Oak is so cool. So you are chill. Just between you and me, the professor's show, Pokemon Talk, is not live radio. I mean, of course not. That's how he can be here. And, oh God, wrong song. And we could tune into his show at the same time. Let me, let me shortcut it up. Let me shortcut it up. That's how that's how uh, he could be on the radio here and standing right in front of us at this instant. See? All right, guys. So we've accomplished a little bit more. We've gone to, we've made it to a few different cities. We've gotten uh, some encounters. We've changed up the team by force, and uh, we're ready to continue with it more this Nuzlocke journey. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all I have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke Run, as well as everything else that all play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you adventurous later with more.
here on Alt Play.